Welcome to Film Riot. Today we have questions again, but before we get into that, I wanted to announce the fact that we have another one minute short film competition coming. Again, we are partnering with Filmstro to bring you guys a bunch of awesome prizes. We're going to be giving you seven weeks to pull off a one minute short film, which we'll get into all the details and all the rules when we officially announce it next Monday. But it is going to be another one minute short film competition like we had before. We're going to have uh, four prize sort of levels, tons of prizes. We have a guest judge coming in as well. I'm really excited about this one. So definitely keep an eye open for that and come back next Monday to find out all the details on it. But now we question or answer. Now we answer. Would you ever be interested in working with actual film over digital? God, yes. Abs yes. Yes. All the yeses. Absolutely. Yes. That's like, the, you know, that's where we came from. And I have worked with film before. I worked with film in uh, film school. We worked on 16 uh, millimeter and we worked on 35 millimeter. And I really love doing that, changing the mags, you know, not fully knowing what you're getting till the end, the discipline that comes with all of that. Uh, I really dug working with that. And I think there is, there is a little bit different uh, of a way that you approach everything, including scenes, takes all of it. Uh, the, it's definitely different with film than it is with digital. Uh, but I really love the freedom that digital brings. Uh, but I, yeah, I would absolutely love to work with film again and see how different it would be for me now versus the filmmaker I was at the time. I don't know if you heard that, but there was, there was some thunder just to punctuate. What are the plans for October? You've come up with some creative things before. Don't let us down. Well, we're doing blood tober pretty much sort of a bloodless blood. Well, I guess it's not a bloodless blood tober. There is blood, but it's not like buckets of blood. So it's a, it's a mildly bloody tober, mildly blood tober, a minuscule amount of blood tober. The point is we're doing horror stuff. First, are you looking forward to the new Halloween? Also, would you be interested in making a slasher similar to Halloween? Yes, I am. Uh, definitely because of the filmmakers involved, I'm very intrigued by it. As far as making a slasher film, uh, I wouldn't say an outright no for sure, but it doesn't really seem like the type of, it's not really the type of genre that interests me as far as a filmmaker to create. I do like a lot of them, um, but I would never say no to if the, the right story came along and it was interesting enough, I would, of course, yeah. I'm possibly moving to Texas myself in the near future and was just wondering what influenced the Film Riot crew's decision to move to Texas. It was pretty much a business decision overall. We were in Florida and Florida just feels like one long stretch of road where everything looks the same. At least that's how it felt to me. I lived there my whole life. Whereas in Texas, it's nowhere near like what California is, but you can drive, you know, four hours in any direction and get a much different feel and look. It was also a lot more friendly to small businesses, which obviously helps me a lot. The cost of living was a whole lot less at the time, which helped me a lot. And it was a very short trip to New York and California, just a three hour flight either way. Whereas when I lived in Florida, it was like a six and a half hour flight to California, which really sucked. The flight to New York was shorter. It was like two hours, but I rarely go to New York, whereas I have to go to LA quite a bit. So for all those things, that's, that's the why, that's the reason. And that's the why the reason why. Hypothetical, you have 24 hours to make a five minute comedy short film. You can choose three A-list comedians to help. Who do you choose? Chris Pratt, Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling. What advice can you give for future horror filmmakers? I have not made a feature horror film myself. I've made a few short pieces and I do really love creating in that space. So I'm not really fully comfortable answering the question as far as what advice I could give for future horror filmmakers. That's probably advice I need myself. I'm still figuring all of this out as well. But some stuff that I do, of course, is consume a lot of it, uh, you know, analyze a lot of it. I'm always thinking about my own fears, what frightens me, and then try to figure out ways to bring that to the scene. You know, that's usually how I come up with my concepts are things that just creep me out or if I'm creeped out in a specific moment and then trying to capture not necessarily what happened, but how you feel and then how can you convey that feeling to an audience. So thinking in those terms, what exactly scares us and why does it scare us? And always pursuing that line of thought has helped me out a lot. So maybe it'll help you as well. And of course, actually making things, not just thinking about it, but making it, coming up with those concepts and then testing your ideas. Did it work? Did you creep someone out? And trusting yourself and trusting the slow burn, sometimes letting the silence play, letting the the slowness sort of, you know, pace itself out into those creep factors really work, but it can be a little nerve wracking to actually go for it and do those much quieter, much slower paced moments. But give those things a shot. Just keep making things pretty much the same as any other genre. Just keep making them, trying things out, see if they work and go from there.
Domain.com has all your website needs, including .com and .net domain names and intuitive website builders to start helping you create an identity online. Of course, they're affordable, reliable, and have the tools that you need to build a new website and start sharing your ideas with the world. The Node Domain Extension is going to help you tell that story like a .com or .net domain name. And if you want to brand yourself online, Domain.com has over 300 domain name extensions to fit your needs from .club to .space. And as always, they're showing you love by giving you 15% off their already affordable prices when you get domain names, web hosting, and email. Just use the coupon code FILMRIOT at Domain.com's checkout. And when you think domain names, think Domain.com. Logo. So that's it for today. And for my suggestion of the week, it is a new game from Matt Workman called Sin Tracer, where you can basically play a video game where you're setting up uh, you know, cinematic scenarios. You could set up your lighting, you set up characters, you frame up your shots, you could take screenshots. It's a really great way to sort of do some dev on a project that you have coming, try out different styles and ideas. I just got it and started diving into it. And I went into a vortex of a few hours of just messing with it and getting different looks. So definitely check that out. Jump over to his YouTube page. We'll put links to all of that below where he has some tutorials talking through what the game is and how to use it and all the things that you can do. And he's he's continuously updating it. I'll probably do a, a dive in at some point on the show because it's, it's pretty great. So definitely check that out. And until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.